Hello YouTube fans, this is Brad. I'm here to do a review on a on a tabletop tripod that I purchased off of eBay. I did a lot of research trying to find a, a, a tripod more to my price than actually to the average prices. Uh, a lot of these tripods run 50, 60, maybe as low as $35 but more like 50 and 60 and 70 and they keep on going up. Um, I actually just kind of accidentally ran across this tripod uh, uh, just doing research and it's $17.95. This is a, a tripod from Cowboy Studios. Of course, if you know by Cowboy Studios, they sell a lot of uh, uh, inexpensive photography gear. Uh, some some stuff that's pretty good, some that may not be so good, but I thought this was a really good product for the price, especially for $17.95 delivered to my door. Uh, again, this is the, uh, when you look for it on eBay, it's called the Photo Mini Ball Head Tabletop Tripod with Arca Swiss Compatible Release Plate. So again, this has the Arca Swiss plate on there, so it makes it very versatile also. Uh, came in a big box. This is not the box. Uh, it came in a big box. This box was inside. Uh, the tripod was actually in this bag uh, inside, uh, of course this was inside this case. So I'm not going to do a full unboxing but it comes with a nice little case. Uh, I don't know why they send these really nice cases with these things but it's a very nice uh, little, little case with the handle on it and uh, leather down here. Very well made material and uh, even feels kind of padded. Naturally inside here there's a <laughs> there's a zipper pocket running uh, along here. So very well made case. Uh, I don't know who's really going to use the case but this is the tripod. Uh, I said this is a tabletop tripod. It stands at about seven and a quarter inches folded like this. Uh, it weighs about two pounds and two ounces. Its maximum height is 11 inches, 11 and three quarter inches, and its minimum height is six inches, six and three quarter inches. So, uh, the maximum leg length is 14 and a quarter inches, and the minimum leg length is seven and a half inches. So, and you'll see that once I start to show you the different uh, positions you can put the legs in, and the folded length again as I say it's seven and a quarter inches this tripod will hold 10 pounds uh, is what it says I believe it will hold more than that uh, like I said it is all alloy there's no plastic in here it has a rubber butt down here on the bottom of it uh, and rubber feet on uh, all three legs here uh, I'll fold it out and you see I fold it out you can hear it click I'm kind of show you that these are actually on springs, so as you pull them around, they lock in position. Kind of three position there. Comes up, come back a little bit into uh, into that tall in its tallest position uh, again, which is uh, it says eleven and three quarter. I actually measured; I think it was ten inches, but. Uh, nice little height. Of course, then you could take it down a notch. Let me tighten up this here. Just kind of show you. That's one position down. And there you go. Like I said, it's very sturdy. Very well made. Uh, and then you could take it all the way down to its last position. Just kind of push the releases has these little kind of show you that up close nice little tabs there and there it is at its lowest position here I'm going to bring it back up real quick you got your, a ball head down here at the bottom right here and it allows uh, your head to swivel around uh, also, you see it's kind of threaded here, it allows you to tighten that up, but it came 
uh, as it is, it came as tight as it is right now. Then you have your lock here on the side to lock up that ball head. To position once uh, then here you have a nice and this feels very like hydraulic I mean it is so smooth turning this thing uh, even if you had to do a pan and you needed to do a nice smooth pan that head would be able to do it there's no handle or anything but just using it and kind of panning to the left or to the right uh, that is so smooth. I don't have something straight here. There we go. Okay, get this straight. Okay. <clears throat> of course, to stop your head from turning, you have this knob here on the side that locks your head. There's one thing here I'm going to show you. Once I lock that, this actually uns can unscrew here. I guess if you wanted to uh, take it apart to transport it or it doesn't fit, it's a threaded there, screws into there. Um, I'm thinking about putting some Loctite on there because I don't need that to come unscrewed. I need it to stay tight. Uh, so I'm thinking about putting some Loctite because the only thing I want to be movable is here which you have this nice smooth so if that happens to come loose then you have that looseness in there and I don't I don't think it's necessary so uh, right here <clears throat> this knob here controls this top head again I don't have this straight I'm trying to straighten it out a little bit hopefully it's kind of straight um, this knob is interesting it has numbers all the way around it I'm gonna Come in a little closer. I hope you can see that. All the way around it. I'll come back this way. All the way up to 12. Um, I'm not quite sure. I guess I'm not that deep in the tripods to know what all that's about. And then around the edge here, you have uh, your degrees that run all the way around um, there. Again, this knob controls this. You have a slot on this side so you can get your full 90 degree tilt lock that in place that's locked up come back out loosen that like I say you have your swivel here again you have the Arca Swiss type head um, I'll take this off real quick show it to you I say type because it doesn't quite look like exactly the Arca Swiss stuff, but it's an Arca Swiss type head. Um, got a couple rubber pads there on top and your little thumb screw at the bottom. I'll show you real quick on the top of here, the head got a little pin right there. Of course, that's the uh, hex nut that locks that down, but you also have a bubble to help you get your tripod level while you're uh, you know setting it up and you take your Arca Swiss head off and you can get your your head up your level before putting your camera or uh, DSLR or whatever you want to put on there I'm gonna lock this out just so there we go One more level again I keep doing something wacky oh there we go so I think you saw the bubble there. I showed you the bubble. So we're going to bubble this out. And get that straight. I'm going to put on here, and that has a spring behind it. I kind of show you that, you know, you screw it out, but it does have a spring in there. I'm going to stick one of my, actually my heaviest camera set up on here. This is about, oh, it's over five pounds. Uh, I think it's about s over six pounds if I have a flash and everything on here. So I'm going to set this on here. 
lock it down or just with head. And if you can see that, that's pretty high. I'm going to go down the level just so you can see it all. There we go. It's all the way down. Uh, I have no doubt that that will hold that camera no matter what. It'll hold more than, again, let's say it'll hold six pounds. This camera weighs about five pounds. This is a, a D7100 with a, a Sigma 50 to 150. Uh, this is the OS lens, not the uh, one without the stabilization. So it's it's quite it's a quite heavy lens itself. Take the hood off. Um, again, like I said, that's over five pounds of weight right there. Um, and again, that the specification says it will hold over. It will hold ten pounds. And I believe they probably kind of because this is really like I said, it's really tough. On the table here, I'm kind of. That the, the rubber legs are really holding that in place. It's not going to slide off a table or something until it's leaving some little marks. Uh, really, really holds that. I'm going to try tilting it here. Over to the side. I hear my wife coming in. Try to finish up. And there you go. Tilt it over to the side. Lock that up. Again, I just kind of wanted to show that. I didn't see any other videos on the internet showing this tripod. So a lot of other ones. But this for $17.95 delivered. There's no shipping. Made by Cowboy Studios. A tabletop uh, tripod. I think is an awesome deal. Thank you. Y'all have a blessed YouTube day.